Have you ever wondered about the economic journey of New Zealand? Let's start with the time before European settlers arrived. New Zealand's indigenous Maori people had an economy that was elegantly simple yet effective. It was an economy rooted in the bounties of the land and sea, with agriculture, fishing and trade serving as its cornerstones. The Maori tribes cultivated a variety of crops, mastered the art of fishing, and honed their skills in trade. Essential goods like the fibrous flax, robust timber and precious greenstone were not just commodities but lifelines that sustained communities. These goods were frequently exchanged within tribes, creating a vibrant network of trade that sometimes even extended to other Pacific islands. This was a time of barter, a time when goods held a value beyond mere currency. This was an era where the economy was driven by nature and the resources it provided. The 19th century marked a significant shift in New Zealand's economy with the advent of British colonial rule. With the arrival of the British, the economy of New Zealand underwent drastic changes. The landscape of the land, once dominated by the Maori's agricultural practices and trade, was transformed into vast expanses of pastures. The British introduced a new economic model centered around sheep farming. This was due to the suitability of the New Zealand climate for raising sheep. The temperate weather and abundant grasslands made it an ideal setting. Sheep farming turned out to be a boon for the colony. Wool from New Zealand sheep was exported to the textile mills of England, driving substantial revenue and contributing to the colony's economic growth. The success of sheep farming led to the expansion of the industry, with dairy farming becoming another significant contributor to the colonial economy. Milk, butter and cheese from New Zealand found their way onto the tables of households far beyond the island nation. But agriculture wasn't the only sector that flourished during this era. In the 1860s the discovery of gold in the South Island sparked a gold rush. This not only brought in a wave of new settlers, but it also injected a surge of wealth into the colony. The gold rush created a boom in the local economy, providing jobs and promoting the growth of towns. However, it's important to remember that while the gold rush and agriculture brought prosperity, they also brought challenges. The rapid economic growth led to a strain on resources and a significant impact on the environment. This era also saw the increased marginalization of the Maori population, as their lands were often taken to make way for farms and mines. Despite the lack of specific GDP figures, it's clear that the colonial era laid the groundwork for New Zealand's future economic development. The introduction of sheep and dairy farming, along with the gold rush, set the stage for an economy that would continue to evolve and adapt in the centuries to come. As we journey into the 20th century we see the emergence of new economic sectors in New Zealand. The dawn of this era brought with it the continued reliance on the agricultural sector, but also the birth of a burgeoning manufacturing industry. This new sector primarily focused on processing the vast array of agricultural products that New Zealand was already known for. The robust agricultural sector, coupled with this new manufacturing industry, allowed New Zealand to take full advantage of its rich natural resources. Sheep farming, dairy farming, and the harvesting of crops remained significant contributors to the economy. However, the processing of these agricultural products into goods for both domestic use and export started to add a new dimension to the nation's economic landscape. But the early 20th century was not just about the evolution of industry in New Zealand. It was also a time of significant social and economic reforms, the nation introduced the welfare state, a system that aimed to protect and uplift its citizens, particularly those most vulnerable. This was a crucial step in creating a more equitable society and by extension, a more balanced and resilient economy. In addition to this, New Zealand also implemented protectionist policies. These were designed to support local industries by shielding them from the full brunt of international competition. This was achieved through strategies such as imposing tariffs on imported goods, thereby encouraging consumers to buy locally produced products. These policies played a vital role in fostering the growth of domestic industries, including the emerging manufacturing sector. This period in New Zealand's economic history was a pivotal one. It marked the transition from an economy heavily dependent on agriculture to one that began to diversify and modernize. The introduction of the welfare state and protectionist policies demonstrated a proactive approach to managing economic change and social welfare. The early 20th century marked a period of significant economic and social change for New Zealand. 
It laid the groundwork for the more complex, diversified economy that we see in the country today. It was an era that set the stage for the economic journey that was yet to unfold. The mid to late 20th century was a period of significant transformation for New Zealand's economy. The wheels of change were set in motion during and after World War II, as the nation veered towards industrialization. Manufacturing began to play a more dominant role, replacing agriculture as the backbone of the economy. This shift was not merely an economic transition, but a societal one, as cities grew and the workforce diversified. The government too played a pivotal role in shaping the economic landscape. Policies promoting economic development and social welfare were implemented, reflecting a commitment to not just economic progress, but also to social equity. This period saw an average annual GDP growth of about 3 to 4 percent, signaling a steady upward trajectory. However, the most notable changes were yet to come. The 1970s and 1980s brought forth major economic reforms, drastically altering the economic ethos of the nation. These changes collectively known as Rogernomics included deregulation, privatization and liberalization of trade policies. The aim was clear, to open up New Zealand's economy to global markets and enhance efficiency. Rogernomics, named after the then finance minister Roger Douglas, was not without controversy. The short-term disruptions it caused were significant. There were job losses in businesses that struggled to adapt to the new competitive environment. Yet. These reforms also dismantled monopolies, spurring innovation and productivity. The GDP growth rates during these transformative years were a roller coaster ride, fluctuating amidst the tumult of change, but they generally remained positive, a testament to the resilience of New Zealand's economy. The late 20th century was a time of challenge and change for New Zealand, but it was also a time of resilience and reinvention. The nation navigated the turbulent waters of economic reform with tenacity, embracing change and adaptation. These reformative years, despite their challenges, set New Zealand on a path towards a more open and efficient economy. The nation emerged from this period stronger, more diverse and better equipped to navigate the complexities of the global economic stage. As we step into the 21st century, we see a New Zealand economy that has evolved and diversified. A country once reliant on agriculture and manufacturing now places significant focus on technology, tourism and services. This shift is not accidental, but a strategic move, positioning the country to take advantage of the opportunities presented by the digital age. New Zealand's tech sector, for instance, has grown exponentially, becoming a key driver of economic growth. It's not just about sheep and kiwis anymore, it's about software, cybersecurity and digital innovation. Tourism too has flourished, with New Zealand's stunning landscapes and vibrant culture attracting millions of visitors each year. This influx of travelers has not just boosted the economy, but also promoted the country's image on the global stage. In the services sector, we see a similar trend. New Zealand has successfully leveraged its educated workforce, robust infrastructure, and business-friendly policies to attract a range of service industries, from finance and insurance to professional and technical services. But the journey has not been without challenges. The global financial crisis of 2008 posed a major test. Yet, New Zealand weathered the storm better than many, Prudent fiscal management, a resilient financial sector, and a diverse economy helped mitigate the impact. The resilience of the Kiwi economy was further tested by natural disasters, such as the devastating earthquakes of 2010 and 2011. Yet even here, New Zealand showed its mettle, rebuilding and recovering with remarkable speed and efficiency. Through all these trials, the influence of global economic conditions, domestic policy decisions and natural events has been clear. Each has played its part in shaping the trajectory of New Zealand's GDP growth rates in the 21st century. But there's another key factor at play, a commitment to balance economic progress with environmental stewardship. While pursuing growth, New Zealand has been careful to protect its stunning natural environment, recognizing that true prosperity is about more than just dollars and cents. The 21st century has seen New Zealand continue to evolve balancing economic progress with environmental stewardship. As of 2022, New Zealand's economic journey brings us to a GDP of approximately $247 billion. The per capita GDP stands strong at around $48,249, reflecting a growth rate of slightly over 2%. The average income per person is close to $47,680, 
showcasing a thriving population of approximately 5.2 million people. Despite facing challenges, New Zealand continues to evolve and grow. Balancing economic progress with environmental stewardship, the nation is a beacon of resilience and adaptability. From embracing technology and tourism to building a robust service sector, New Zealand's economy is a blend of traditional industries and modern innovations. From its agrarian roots to a diversified modern economy, New Zealand's economic journey is a testament to resilience, adaptability, and innovation.